Hello, good evening. Uh, I'm delighted to chair tonight for this last session of the 14th WPC, the sixth edition of the Young Leaders that we have here on, on the panel tonight. Um, tonight, uh, we'll be focusing on uh, GovTech at the conjunction of global governance and technology. We heard on Friday from uh, François Barrault that there was a clear acceleration of innovation pace. Uh, technology is driving change and uh, data-driven uh, digital is calling for uh, transformation, not only uh, starting from IT systems, but also on processes, organization and governance of private, but also uh, public uh, bodies. Uh, this is an important aspect. And um, tonight, uh, we have to consider several uh, considerations. The first is that given uh, this acceleration, this is creating tensions on talents. Uh, and uh, in the global economic uh, uh, context, this tension is also uh, expressed in terms of access to uh, international uh, um, intellectual property. Uh, another aspect is that uh, um, the, no sector is immune in this transformation and uh, some disruption hap uh, happen. Uh, so Clément, uh, Clément Tonon, uh, who is uh, part of the French uh, Supreme Court for uh, Public Affairs, uh, has been uh, writing three different uh, reports published by IFRI having to do with data, digital and sovereignty. And we'll be focusing on that part uh, with him. Uh, when it comes to uh, innovation, we cannot ignore the growing importance of startups. Uh, a recent report from uh, MIT and Capgemini Invent uh, mentioned that uh, uh, sources of innovations uh, for startups. Startups are uh, representing uh, today around 10% and will contribute by 2025 to about 45% of uh, innovation sources. So this is made possible by the uh, historical high uh, funding from venture capital and uh, uh, private equity industry and is attracting a lot of, a lot of attention by uh, uh, the public, uh, because this, is, this has also uh, strategic importance. So we have two representatives here on, on the GovTech. Uh, we have Mehdi, who is both a medical practitioner and a PhD in mathematics. This has an importance and is co-founder and CEO of Ecopen. He will tell us more about that in the healthcare space. We have uh, Farouk Tunser, who has uh, created in Germany uh, a startup called uh, Politeia, focusing on services to the, ser the sector, uh, the public sector. Mm -hmm.